everybody we're at main street cycle and i was going to show you this fresh 2021 cf moto u-force 800 that was just put together out of the crate mr Jaden and mr david just got through putting it together and uh this is the silver color with some red accent uh graphics and uh we'll run inside real quick and i'll show you the other color that uh you have for the u-force 800 right now and here is the orange color that they also offer in the u-force 800 it's got the black and gray graphics kit on the orange that orange really stands out it looks super good and this one has the roof and windshield kit that we put on them here at main street cycle remember it already comes with the mirrors so that's a complete u-force right there that's how if i own one that's how i'd want it and that's how we sell them here at main street cycle here is the camo u-force 800 and it looks good it's got just the brown camo graphics up next to a camo u-force 1000 you can see that the U-Force 1000 is a lot wider than the U-Force 800. Both awesome units. But uh, anyways, also a little sneak peek at some of the stock that we have out here at Main Street Cycle. We got more we got to put together and we got a bunch of more on the way. Here's some Z-Force in orange. Those jokers look awesome. Z-Force 500 trails. Got a great price on those. Uh, and also, I missed the 950 down here. We have a couple of gray and orange 950s. And they look awesome. That's just like David's that you see on the channel. But anyways, let's go back out to the shop and look at this gray U-Force 800 and take a closer look. So these are very nice looking uh, units here. I would compare these to the, uh, I guess you could compare it to the Can-Am Commander as far as design goes. You got the two, seat, uh, two seater bucket seat design. You got these little quarter doors here that latch and they don't, they, they uh, stay in place real well, look good. And uh, I like the cabin, uh, the cockpit in here, very well designed. And uh, I like that you got some areas to put a couple of things, your drinks, and uh, you got a couple of cubby holes here, right there, a big area. And then you've got a uh, glove box there that you can lock and secure in place. Got a very nice size uh, gauge cluster here. We haven't put any gas in or anything yet, but uh, just had that on to show you. Um, I'll keep it on for the lights here. Uh, you got a parking brake. It's even got a, got a horn on it. Control your lights here. Also has the ability to install blinkers, uh, but it doesn't come from the factory with the blinkers installed yet. It does come with mirrors, which is nice as well. You don't have to buy those. Uh, very comfortable seats, easy to clean out. Uh, that's nice. Uh, we'll talk more about the cockpit in a second. But I know if you've watched our channel a lot, you know that we... I don't even know if I've done a video on the U-Force 800 other than a little walk-around video. Um, but it looks good. I love the tire and rim combo that comes with it. That's just like the C-Force 800 tire and wheel package um the back of it looks real nice you got a nice sturdy tailgate here a big bed area with some nice heavy duty tie down points real deep walls you can really load this joker up with a lot of stuff i believe it has a 1250 pound towing capacity which is great for what you're paying for this unit. Uh, this is, this thing is uh, very well priced. Um, you can get the dump bed 
easy to operate by yourself if you're out doing some work on the farm uh, around the yard uh, I, I like that a lot uh, it also will give you access to your uh, air filter and just gives you access to uh, your rear differential uh, different things that you need to get to I like that Let's see, uh, it's got some LED accent lighting uh, and that's your low beam here. And your high beams, they look nice. It's a good looking unit. You got uh, lower A-arm uh, guards that come standard, uh, protects your CV boots on your axles. And uh, you also, of course, it comes standard with a uh, winch from the manufacturer that's awesome it's already wired up already done for you it's got a nice protective bumper here as well uh, you can adjust the preload and ride height of your suspension which is nice front and rear these uh, this u-force 800 has a nice sound to it it's not too loud the exhaust sound is uh, not over overwhelming. You know, it's quiet in the cab and you can use this for deer hunting or uh, just trail riding and recreational riding, yard work. Uh, it's just an all around great unit. And that 800 motor puts out 62 horsepower is what it's rated at. But I'm telling you the way that CF Moto rates their horsepower they definitely don't overrate it uh, because it feels a lot more than what they say it's rated at. Um, I really, I'm really impressed by it. It's, it's very playful. If you want to cut up on the trails in the woods or out in the field, you can do that. If you, if you're somebody that wants to take it to an ATV park or something, man, this is this is the ticket. Um, I really like it. Also, something else that I think is really neat is this hood latch here. Uh, there's just a like, just like an automotive style hood latch, and it pops this up, and uh, you just lay it back. And man, you have access to your battery, your uh, your relays, auxiliary relays. Um, you have uh, your little bus bar here for uh, your winch and stuff different accessory power is all available right here uh, i like that a lot of course your coolant i believe this is going to be your brake fluid uh, i have to verify that yes that's your brake fluid reservoir as well uh, everything is mounted high and should stay dry which is which is really nice it should stay pretty clean i like that uh so that's a nice little feature uh it's real open and big it's a big area that you can move around in and uh, not all jam packed in there so real clean look good job it's just uh you see it's just like the hood on your vehicle you just close it and that baby's in place so uh that's a real neat feature i like that as far as the, uh, let's see, I'm six foot, I weigh about 215. I'm not a small fella. And uh, I have plenty of room in here. Uh, you can adjust these seats back or, or up. I can scoot way up. So uh, I fit in here nice and you can also tilt the steering wheel up and down right here. Here's the lever. Uh, something else that's really good feature, and you know it's on all the CF motos, is it has a true front uh, diff lock. You can lock the front end, which is really nice. Uh, like I said, the gauge cluster is, uh, even though it is center mounted, I typically don't like a center mounted gauge cluster, but this one is so big that uh, I don't mind it. It's not hard to glance over and see that and get all the information I need uh, while I'm cruising around. So uh, your passenger has a ton of room. 
Uh, I love how wide the butt area is uh, because it, it, I mean, anybody can fit in here. I mean, uh, a big fella uh, can fit in here, no problem. And uh, I, I like it. Now, I don't know if maybe this bar here on the outside, it's a, just a safety feature. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This bar here, uh, that's just to protect you from being able to fall out. And uh, if anything hits you or hits in that area, it'll hit this bar and give you protection. But I mean, we're talking, this is a wide area here. Uh, some seats really squeeze your rear end and stuff and are not comfortable. That's a very comfortable seat. Uh, it don't look fancy or nothing, but it's, it feels good. It's comfortable and that's what matters. And they will be very easy to clean. So I like that. That's, that's a good deal there. Um, <clears throat> like I said, plenty of leg room. Uh, very comfortable. I think this is a good unit, guys. I don't own one personally. I haven't spent no time in one. Uh, I've, I mean, I've, I have rode in one, but that's... I haven't got to spend no good time to be able to give you a detailed review of what I think the ride quality is like. But uh, maybe maybe I can get one uh, to do a demo ride for y'all like I did with the U-Force 1000. Now, I definitely love the U-Force 1000. It, it's a beast. And uh, I believe that uh, the seating position in the U-Force 800 is not as straight up and it's more comfortable because it's not a bench seat but i do like the bench seat in the u-force because it allows for you know my family to get in and we're not limited to just two people but for the price guys you can't beat this thing uh, plenty of power plenty of versatility with the winks a nice tires it looks good uh, you can throw a, a roof and windshield on it and that's about all I would do with this U-Force and I would drive it and enjoy it. Of course, remember you can put the a full two inch receiver hitch on it and uh, do a lot of things with this around the yard, around the farm, the ranch. Uh, just a lot, very versatile machine or you can just have it for fun recreational purposes. So stay tuned to the channel, guys. We have a lot of cool stuff coming in 2021. We're about to be planning some rides where we uh, will make it set a date and invite everybody that can to come out. And we will basically have a CF Moto takeover at a park somewhere. And I would like to travel to at least two different locations in the US sometime this year and uh bring my crew and we will have a good time and meet up with y'all and ride we will definitely be posting a couple of rides here locally at my parts and uh invite y'all to come and ride with us and we'll make some cool videos and just hang out and uh, we'll see how many cf motos we can get at one park at one time and so all the competition what's up <laughs> anyways hope y'all enjoyed this remember to call main street cycle for any of your cf moto needs and uh but man they got a lot of good options we got a lot of cool things coming at cf moto in the future you're gonna like it so stay tuned thanks for subscribing thanks to all my patrons for supporting and uh thank you for being awesome guys god bless y'all and we will see you in the next one